So stress and anxiety. What what is that, and can it be leveraged for good? Absolutely, stress and anxiety. Look, whether or not you get into a cold ice bath or a or a hot sauna so hot you want to get out, or you get hit square in the face with something over text that you really didn't want to hear or see. It's adrenaline. It's just adrenaline. And so your subjective readout of that and what it means is really important. And you can just channel that. Well, you can. If you if you agree with the following statement, which I do, and many people do because the data support it, which is Ali Crum's statement, not mine, which is she directs <laughs> the Mind Body Lab at Stanford. She's yes. brilliant, by the way. Um, brilliant, Harvard-trained, Yale-trained, trained licensed clinical psychologist, also tenured professor at Stanford. She's a... Uh, uh, Olympian, uh, no, excuse me, a division one athlete in gymnastics and, uh, wow. martial arts. And her dad, um, is a longtime martial arts trainer. He's done work with special forces and he's an amazing human being and very humble, very kind, lovely woman and professor scientist. She says anything that you do and experience, but especially stress is the consequence of that thing and what you believe about that thing. And so if you consume a lot of information about the powers of stressful states to bring out your best, you will perform better. If you consume a lot of information about the power of stress to cripple you, you will perform worse. There's absolutely no question. The data are striking. And this is not growth mindset. This is just simply what sorts of, what do you believe about stress based on the dominant knowledge that you're consuming about it? So that's why it's fun to watch David Goggins, here we go again, David, or Jocko or or Joe or someone put or Cam Haynes, you know, put out this information about, or Ryan Hall, who ran for Stanford and then now is like into the powerlifting thing and running. You know, and there are others too, of course. When you start to consume a lot of that information, it's not just inspiring, it actually changes your perception of what your own stressful states mean. They you can actually get better from stress if you're in the ocean of knowledge that stress grows you. If you're in the ocean of living in the ocean of knowledge, I was seeing like a pool in the summer. You got the kiddie pool, the kids all peeing in it, presumably. <laughs> you got the diving thing, you got the high dive and all that. If you believe that the experience of belly flopping off the high dive is going to make you a better diver, in some sense, it, it at least in this analogy, it will. Whereas if you feel that it's just the most embarrassing thing ever and it's going to cripple your ability to get out in the dive in front of anybody ever again, well, you're you're right about that too. Yeah, we uh, actually t talk with Carl about depression, all those kinds of things that there there could be these, what are commonly seen as negative journeys that could be, when reframed, can be used. You know, one of the reasons I enjoy our friendship so much is that you bring this Russian thing, you know, which I don't really understand it at a deep level. How could I? I'm not Russian. but um, But this mindset like that there's pain in life. When I watched that uh, Hedgehog in the Fog cartoon, I thought, no wonder Russians grow up the way they do. <laughs> this is the most, it's so sad. It's beautiful yeah. and sad, but it's so sad. Whereas out here, it's like Sesame Street. And you know, my mother would not let me watch Sesame Street when I was a kid. Yes, She thought it was too chaotic. She too chaotic. Too chaotic. She was like, it's too chaotic. <laughs> too many know? things going on. Captain Kangaroo, we were allowed. And then uh, Mr. Rogers, we were allowed. I never really liked shows. I, I liked doing things in outside in the, mm. in the yard. Um, I was trying to trap all the animals. I didn't want to watch stuff on TV, but you know, Hedgehog in the Fog is enough to turn any kid into a, a thinker and a philosopher and a poet. 